All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, man. The elect scattered throughout the four corners of the earth is preaching this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bear. This preaching this gospel week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bear. Hey, this week's GMS on the go, I'm going to call it, um, This Truth is What Esau is Scared of. The truth that we're speaking week in and week out, starting off with the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, guess what? That's what the so-called white man is scared of. The so-called white man ain't scared of you, bonehead, nappy-headed, piecey-headed, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians standing on the corner with your drugs, you know, your guns, you know, your little guns. The so-called white man ain't scared of that. He gave y'all that, man. You know, he ain't scared of the drug dealers. You know, he ain't scared of, the so-called white man ain't scared of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians that's trying to gather up arms, that's trying to become a military force and take this man down. No. Esau is scared of the truth that's coming out, man. Because this truth foretells, you know what I'm saying, what this future is going to be like. The scriptures, this truth, tells everybody on the face of the earth who he really is, man. He's an Edomite according to the Bible. That's what the so-called white man is scared of. Esau, the Edomites according to the Bible, the elites, the elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, so forth and so on. That's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of the truth, man. Because that's what they've been spending millions of dollars trying to hide for all these years, man, for hundreds of years. The truth, Esau don't give a damn about the Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans that's trying to come at him on a carnal level. But he's worried about the men that's keeping it spiritual, man. See, Esau gave them the guns. He gave them the drugs. Esau didn't give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. He was holding that back uh, um, from us, man, because he knew. Not the peons, but the elites. They knew once the Israelites... Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and confusion of faces came back to their heritage, came back to their nationality. The truth is what is going to set us free. So he knew that. He knew lies would keep us under, under bondage, man. But once we started receiving the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, guess what? That's what made the so-called white man um, scared, you know? Us calling on the names of your how about Shemiah Shah, guess what? That's what made the so-called white man scared. Not your guns, not your drugs, man, okay? And we're going to bring some scriptures out proving that. Proving that. See, the scriptures let us know that the so-called white man only got a short time to rule, man. Not a long time to rule. The so-called white man only got a short time to rule, man. And that's what he's afraid of, man. That truth coming out, man. See, this truth, you know what I'm saying, has let us know who the real Israelites are, who the Edomites are, what's the real motherland, according to the Bible. See, he, see, he paid billions on top of billions on top of billions of dollars to try to hide this truth. But now it's out now. So, so let's get into it. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And, and it's written in red. It's who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. See, long as we kept calling, long as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans keep calling on Jesus Christ, a Greek term, see, the so-called white man, he's not worried about that, man. He know that name right there don't hold no weight at all. He, look, once we start calling on Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, that name is dreadful to the heathen. The scriptures tell you that, man. The name of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah is dreadful to the heathens. So St. John chapter 8 verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And, that, and that's a threat to the so-called white man. Truth. The 100% truth according to the Bible. Guess what? That's a threat to the so-called white man. He can't stand that. No sir Bob. No sir Reed. He can't stand that man. Long as you celebrate Christmas. Long as you worship in Santa Claus. You know. As long as you worship in the so-called white Jesus Christ, it's all fine and dandy. But once you start worshiping a so-called black man, the true entities, the true powers that created the heavens and the earth, then you know that's a problem, man. That's a threat to um to Edomite supremacy, man. Okay? Once again, St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So that's what scares these so-called white people, man. They're elites, man. Us knowing the truth according to the Bible. That's what scares these devils, man. Not the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans clapping guns, being all thug, gang banging, and all that other nonsense. Nah, man. That ain't what scares the so called white man. The scriptures scares the so called white man. Job chapter 14, verse 5. 
seeing his days are determined. See, according to the Bible, the so-called white man's rulership is already determined already by the God of the Bible. You have about Shemel Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. See, according to the Bible, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh gave the so called white man, the Edomites, the rulership of the earth, man. And the God of the Bible already know the month, the hour, the date, the second. The Most High Yahweh knows exactly when he's going to bring the so called white man down. And that scares the so called white man. Us knowing that, us knowing that our power, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Hebrew Israelites, knows exactly when he's going to take this so-called white man down. See, the so-called white man got the Nick Rose Latinos and Native American his two-third food into thinking that he's going to rule forever. When the scripture says, what again? Job chapter 14 verse 5. Seeing his days are determined. The so-called white man days of ruling the earth and wickedness is determined already, man. It's already signed, sealed, and it's getting ready to be delivered to him. You know? The number of his months are with thee. The number of his months is with the Most High Yahweh. You know, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Like boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Like when a person's playing basketball, you got inbounds, you got out of bounds. Whether so, the, the God of the Bible, who you ignorantly call God, the Most High Yahweh, he already know the bounds that the so-called white man can't pass, man. It's a certain date, hour, month, year. That the God of the Bible already know when he's going to bring the so-called white man down. And guess what? And that's what scares them, man. Okay? You know? Not you calling yourself, I'm a Moor. You know what I'm saying? Not, not you calling yourself an African-American. I'm black and I'm proud. That ain't what scares the so-called white man. Us having the knowledge, wisdom, understanding the scriptures, and us being free to the bondage of lies, that's what scares him, man. That's why he's getting, he getting ready to come down with great wrath, man. That's why he's coming up with all these false flags, man. That's why he's coming up with with a term called look um a byword a proverb, uh, black identity extremist. That's why he's coming up with all that, man. Cause his he know his days of ruling the earth is determined already with the God of the Bible. So it reads here, Revelation chapter twelve verse twelve. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And who's inhabiting the earth, man? You people, man. The scriptures say, woe unto you. Woe means death and destruction, right? To the people dwelling in the earth, right? It says, um, of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, the word devil means deceiver. That's a so-called white man, okay? The so-called white man is a devil according to the Bible. Meaning the great deceiver, man. What does it say? The devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. How he know he got a short time? Because we telling him, according to the Bible, that he got a short time. And his procrastinators, his witches, his warlocks, they letting them know that the Son of Man is coming back soon. You better do whatever the hell you're going to do. They letting them know, and we letting them know, according to the Bible, that his rulership is coming to an end. And you can see it, according to the Bible. When there shall be seen earthquakes in diverse places, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, uproars of the people, do you know the Lord's about to come back soon, come man? And you think the so-called white man haven't heard that, man? That's why that's why he's trying to ban the Bible, man. That's why he's trying to outlaw the outlaw the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to stop men from teaching his truth on the earth because he know he got a short time to rule, man. See, two thirds of these knucklehead Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, they think the so-called white man's gonna rule forever. That's why they're trying to establish a kingdom within a kingdom, man. Even though this kingdom is wicked as hell, man. So the so-called white man is gonna come down upon mainly you Israelites. But all nations with great wrath, man. Knowing that he got a short time to rule, he's going to try to ship everybody, man. And Lord willing, I do a lesson on that. Lord willing, either later on, tomorrow, whenever the spirit, you know what I'm saying, um, is willing. But yeah, the so-called, that's why he's coming up with more false flags. That's why he's using his heart machine. You know, that's why he's killing more Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And, not, and getting away scot-free with it. Because he knows his time to rule is over, man. One thing about it, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, y'all don't know. That's the thing about it, y'all don't know. So let's go back to the book of Job. I got another one in the book of Job, man. Once again, this truth is what's scaring the so-called white man. Not Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians marching up and down the street like jackasses. We shall overcome. We shall overcome.
overcome. That ain't what's scaring the so-called white man, you know? That ain't what's scaring this devil. This word is, man. This is Job chapter 20. Let me see where I'm going to start at. I start at 4. Job chapter 20 verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short? Yeah, we just read that the days, the hours, the months is already with the Most High Yahweh. So the the um, the triumphing of the wicked, who's the wicked according to the Bible? You Edomites, man. Matter of fact, let me prove it right quick. Let's go to the book of Malachi. We're going to prove according to the Bible who the wicked is. It's you Edomites. This is Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Wherein, whereas Edom, who is Edom? You Edomites, man. Do it, look, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all don't even know who the Edomites are, man. These Edomites are these so called white people, man. Now, you do got a confusion of faces, which line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about them. We're talking about um, the so called white people line that goes back to a man named Esau. See, just like the spirit bears witness who we are, according to the Bible, the spirit also bears witness who they are, according to the Bible. So once again, Malachi, because it says the triumphant of the wicked is short in, in Job, right? This is Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom saith, Edom is the so-called white people, right? We are impoverished, but we shall return and build the desolate places. Yeah, we had them up in the caves, man, during the dark ages. You know what I'm saying? We ran them up in the caves during the dark ages, man. It says they was in Paris. That's the way they said, right? But we will return and build the desolate places. And they did build. You know what I'm saying? They started ruling. They started reigning again during the um, Renaissance period. The so-called white man came back into power, man. The, um, the mid-1300s to the early 1400s up until now, the so-called white man, the Edomites, have been ruling, man. So they, can't, they, um, they returned and they started building again, right? And they're still building, right? They built the desolate places, man. Europe, right? And build the desolate places. It says, um, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They shall build, but I will throw down. Because soon come, the God of the Bible is going to throw this kingdom down, man. He already said he got a month and an hour and a date and bounds that the so called white man, the Edomites, the wicked, can't pass, right? But I will throw down. And they shall call them, not one man, them, plural, them, not just one man, not just Esau, his whole line, his whole family line, the Edomites. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. So who is the wicked? The Edomites, man. Okay, not just one man, his whole family line. It says um, the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So the God of the Bible, indignation means righteous anger. So the God of the Bible hates you devils, man. And that's what scares these devils. Because they, they, they taught our people that the God of the Bible loves everybody. No, the God of the Bible hates the wicked, man. Hates the wicked. And Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. And that's what the so-called white man is afraid of. The truth coming out. So let's go back to Job. Job chapter 20, verse 5. That the triumphant of the wicked is short. We just read it in um in Job the um, 14th chapter. That the guy of the Bible already got a date and an hour where this so-called white man is gonna go down. And that's what scares him, man. Us rising up and standing up on our feet, bold as lions teaching this word week in and week out. That's what scares the so-called white man. Not you peons with your guns, man. You know what I'm saying? And your crack. You know what I'm saying? And all your other nonsense. He gave y'all that. But one thing the so-called white man didn't give us, he didn't give us the truth. You know what I'm saying? He didn't give us the Rakakwa Dash, man, the Holy Spirit, to be able to understand his word. That came from on high, man. By Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. That's what scares the so called white man. You know? And the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. You know? So the joy, who's the biggest hypocrite on the face of the earth? You so called white man, the, the biggest actors, man, aka Hollywood. They know how to be great actors. That's why they get um, Academy Awards for the acting, man. You know? They acted like they was the children of the Lord. They acted like, act like they was the Israelites, man. But the whole time they was the devil according to the Bible. The wicked according to the Bible, right? Verse 6. Though his, excellency, though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet, yet he shall perish forever like his own dumb. They which have seen him shall say, 
where is she, man? And that's what's going to happen after a thousand years of the so-called white man, woman, and child serving us on the planet Earth. That's exactly what the people going to say. Where, where, where this devil at? Where them Edomites at, yo? They was here one minute and they gone the next, man. He's going to perish away like his own dung, man. What does dung shit do to You know what I'm saying? Verse 8. Job chapter 20, verse 8. He shall fly away as a dream. It's going to seem like a bad nightmare, yo. You know what I'm saying? When this devil is finally, you know what I'm saying, taken out of power and eradicated from the face of the earth, it's going to seem like a bad dream, yo. It's going to seem like the Israelites was waking up from a bad dream, man. Once this devil is eradicated from off the face of the earth, man, and it's just true, man. He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found, yea. He shall be chased away as a vision in the night. Yeah, after serving us for a thousand years, a long drawn out thousand years. This devil gonna work his ass off, man. And that's what scares the so-called white man. The truth. That's what scares the so-called white man. The truth, man. Nothing but the truth. You know the truth hurts. The truth scares a whole lot of people. The truth even scares two-thirds of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. How much, how much more these Edomites, man? You know? Us, us telling these Edomites that they're going into captivity, that's what scares these devils, man. And I'm bringing out straight scriptures that scare these devils, man. Okay? The children of Israel ruling the whole earth, man, and righteousness, this man, and having this red devil, you know what I'm saying? His man, his, the man, woman, and child in chains, that scares these devils. Colossians chapter 3 verse 25 But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done And there is no respect to person So the God of the Bible don't respect this devil man He's going to have to pay for everything that he did wrong And that's what scares this so called white man These Edomites according to the Bible It scares them A devil, a devil told me that man He told me that he's going to have to pay man He know his people are going to have to pay for what they did to the Native American Indians man And to the so called Negroes man He told me that out of his own mouth man and this is a millionaire. A millionaire told me that, man. And, and look, and look. And he was—he was, uh, had a look of um, of him being scared and frightened. His voice was shaking when he told me that he know he's going to have to pay for what what this so-called white man did to the Native American Indians and their so-called Negroes. This cracker told me that. This Edomite told me that. This rich million-dollar man, Edomite, this millionaire, Edomite, told me that he knows he's going to have to pay for what his what his people did to our people, man. So the scriptures say, what again? Colossians chapter 3, verse 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect to person. They lynched us. They hung us. You know what I'm saying? They threw us off on um, um, threw us off um, cargo slave ships and fed us the alligators, sharks. They burned us alive to the crisp. They they sold us on auction on blocks. Look, man, that scares the so-called white man. It's true. Knowing that he's gonna have to go through what we went through and double, that scares the heathens, man. So-called white man scared of you niggas with guns, man. He gave y'all the guns, man. This devil got to be scared of y'all for me. He can easily come and blast y'all down. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Verse 9. If, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. See, that's a scripture that scares the so-called white man. Knowing that he got to go into captivity, a.k.a. slavery, for what he did to us, man. That's what scares these devils, man. Okay? Not you bonehead Negroes, you bonehead, nappy headed, peasy headed, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans with your guns and your drugs and all that and your crazy ass dances. That don't scare these Edomites, man. Um, uh, the man of the Lord with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, guess what? That's what scares the so called white man. That scares the shit out of him, man. He can't sleep at night, man. There's no peace, saith the Lord, to the wicked, man. So ain't no peace coming to them, only death and destruction. And when they hear us bringing these scriptures out, that's what scares them, man. Okay? You got Nick Rose, Latinos, and Native Americans talking about them getting together. You know what I'm saying? In a military fashion, marching up and down the street like jackasses. It's scaring this devil. No. That ain't what's scaring this devil. Us standing out on the streets. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, since I said that, you know I got to get this. Brothers, brothers should know already where I'm going. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. Verse 1, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. That's what, the, that's what scares the so-called white man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans standing up. The righteous standing up in righteousness, man. Standing up for something righteous, man. In front of the face of such that have afflicted us, man. You know what I'm saying? These so-called white people, they afflicted the hell out of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And they afflicted the hell out of these other nations, but they mainly afflicted the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And they still are afflicting the hell out of us, man. Okay? 
But what the scripture say? Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man, not two-thirds, then shall the righteous man. That's who you see out there on the highways and byways. You see righteous men standing up, starting off with the head apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the men on down. And camps affiliated with Great Millstone is teaching the same doctrine. Those men standing up in great boldness, guess what? That scares the so-called white man. Preaching the truth, that scares the so-called white man. The man, woman, and child. This shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Um, the righteous are as bold as lions. You know what I'm saying? But the wicked flee when no man pursueth. In great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. Now when it came back to our nationality, nationality knowing that we the Hebrew Israelites, that scares this devil, man. See, this devil know he getting ready to pay now. When it came back to our nationality, this devil know that he going to have to pay now. And that's what scares him, man. They made no account of, of our labor. They said we was lazy. They said we was good for nothing. When we built America, man. And they got the records of it, man. We, we created all the um, great inventions. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans created all the great inventions on the face of the earth, man. On the planet of earth, bar none, man. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Now, that's what scares the so-called white men. Us teaching this truth, man. And they're going to be scared with um, terrible fear, you know what I'm saying, when they see the men of the Lord being beamed up in the chariots, man. What they're going to call UFOs. That's going to scare the shit out of this so-called white man. It's going to scare the shit out of the so-called white men and two-thirds but mainly the Edomites right when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear now, now we out there on the highways and byways condemning the so-called white men just like Moses condemned Pharaoh man okay and then now they don't know what the hell to do because we coming at this so-called white man on a spiritual tip you know what I'm saying he look he can handle Jake when they come into him on, on a carnal level he can kill him and shoot him all day man but when you come at this so-called white man the spirit of your hell by Shemel Shah, he don't know what the hell to do, man. He's shaking in his boots right about now. They shall be troubled with terrible fear. Not just fear, but terrible fear, man. Because I remember the apostles, you know what I'm saying, was giving us an account, you know what I'm saying, of the, uh, one of the Rothschilds back in the days, you know what I'm saying? I forgot exactly when it was. It was either in the 70s or the 80s. They was out there on the highways and byways teaching. It might have not been them. It might have been some of their... um some of their elders, but it could have been our apostles and elders on the highways and byways, and a Rothschild stopped, a limo pulled up and stopped in traffic. It was like, it's fucking stop, um, slamming on brakes real hard. And an Edomite got out, you know what I'm saying? He seen the signs and all that of the 12 tribes. And, and the first thing that Edomite said, he said, What the hell is this? How did y'all find out this information? We spent billions on top of billions of dollars to hide this from y'all. And that Edomite was pissed the hell off, man. And he hopped back in his um, limo after he finished um, screaming and shouting. And that limo sped it the hell off, man. And everybody was standing there like, damn. And that's just one account, man. Yeah, they're scared to death now, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they came back to their nationality, to their heritage. So guess what? Now that's what scares the shit out of these crackers, man. Okay? The scriptures just said it, man. They shall, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, man. And they shall be amazed as, at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, when they see those chariots coming down. What they're going to call UFOs. When they see them UFOs, them chariots, the chariots of the Lord coming down to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel, the so-called white man is going to really shit in his pants then, man. He going to really shit in his pants because then he going to know that get ready for change, man. So we letting them know right about now that we're going to put chains on these devils. But when they actually see the Lord come through in that humongous chariot by the size of a mountain and the rest of the holy host, the heavenly host, that's when that's when the Rothschilds are getting, that's when they're going to shit their draws, man. They're going to shit their draws, you heard me? They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of their salvation, man. Hopefully I'm part of the elect. So far beyond all that they look for. That's the last thing that they thought was going to happen. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is being beamed the hell up. And what they're going to call UFOs, Tontos, Tontos, Wetbacks, Coons, getting beamed the hell up. How dare they? How dare they leave? You know what I'm saying? How dare my slaves, you know what I'm saying, get delivered from my clutches? Just like Pharaoh. Just like we was delivered from Pharaoh. That was an amazing sight. But the scriptures say nobody ain't going to talk about us getting delivered from Egypt anymore once, this, when the, once the second deliverance come. Know what I'm saying? The second exodus come. 
Lord willing, I get to see it, man, and be a part of it. So look, so that's what scares these devils, man. The truth being read on the streets, man. Us coming back to our nationality, knowing who we are, guess what? That's what scares this devil, man. And I got like two more scriptures and I'm going to wrap it up, man. Just bringing out some scriptures on, on what's really scaring this devil, man. It's not you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans with your guns. This devil gave y'all the guns. He didn't give us this word. So he most definitely don't know how to come at us, man. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devoured thee, not some, not five, not six, but all of them, man. All they that devoured thee, Salakia, therefore, all they that devoured thee shall be devoured. And all thine adversaries, every one of them, not some, not five, not a thousand, not a hundred, every one of them shall go into captivity. And that's what scares these Edomites. That's what scares these so-called white people, man. Knowing that we're going to put them head first into captivity and we're going to beat the shit out of them. When our Lord and Savior come, it ain't going to be a game. It ain't going to be no, um, see, um, seeing, seeing, sometimes you got to see something to believe it, man. So your how about Shemel Shai gonna make you a believer when he putting chains on your red asses, man? Okay? And that's what scares these devils. The truth, man. It says, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee, everything they took from us. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. Because that's what that word spoil means. It means to be robbed. They robbed us of everything, even our nationality. You know what I'm saying? We're going to beat we're going to beat our nationality out of them and we're going to beat their nationality back in them. They call themselves Israelites when they really the Edomites. We're going to beat that back into them, man. Okay? They beat our nationality out of us, man. Us calling ourselves Hebrew Israelites, so we're going to beat um them calling themselves Edomites um back into them, man. It says um and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey, for I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. You have about Shemel Shai, and that's what scares the so-called white man, the Edomites, knowing that the God of the Bible is getting ready to take us out of this lower state that we've been in for hundreds of years, and it's going to let us rule again in righteousness. That scares the hell out of the cracker, man. Okay? He says, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after, and that's what they say, man. That's the children of the Lord, man. Look at them niggas digging out the trash can. They bums on the streets. They barely can um, find a job. They barely can pay their bills. That's what this devil is scared of, man. Knowing that he's going to have to pay for what he did to us, man. And it is, and that's a wonderful thing to know, Akims. It's a wonderful thing to know, man. Let's get this. This is Exodus. Salakia. I'm pretty hype right about now. So Salakia. Exodus chapter 21 verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him. It's evident that the so-called white man stole us. He know that he stole us. And he know that he sold us. Or if he be found in his hand 2018 we're still captives. In the so-called white man's clutches. He know it. He shall surely be put to death. So the so-called white man is going to get put to death for leading us into captivity and for selling us and still for holding us still captive, man. We still captive up under this devil, man. And he know he's going to have to pay. He know it. He know it. We know it. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7. And the Lord thy power, Yehovah Shemia Rashad, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So the so-called white man, you persecuted the shit out of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Get ready for slavery, man. Deuteronomy 28th chapter, 16 on down through 68. Read it, so-called white man. Because you about to go through every one of them curses head first, man. You ain't got to worry about no um, finding no job, though. Because it's going to always be employment. We're going to always be working you crackers to death, man. Okay? Along with these other heathen nations, but we're going into the Edomites right about now. What, what really scares them? What they're really afraid of, man. Okay? And look, we're going to work the shit out you devils. Remember that. I, I got to keep saying that. We're going to work the shit out you devils, man. So you live it up, man. You live it up. Have a good time. The scripture tells you to rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, for the cup shall pass unto you. 
And that cup is slavery, man. And that cup is slavery. Remember that. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, boy. Mm -mm -mm. This, this scripture, man, this scripture, boy, I'm glad I ain't no Edomite, man. Yeah, we went through, the Israelites went through what we went through. The water you have, but Shemel shot, I'm not an Edomite. The Edomites, y'all are done, man. With Sweet Daddy Williams, tell JJ, watch that, watch, watch that episode called Good Times. Type in Sweet Daddy Williams and JJ. What's, what's one of Sweet Daddy Williams' favorite quotes to JJ? JJ, boy, you in trouble. And that's what I'm telling you, Edomites, according to the Bible. You in trouble. You in trouble, man. Okay? Let's get this right quick. This is my last one, and I'm going to wrap it up. The point has been made. This is what the so-called white man is scared of. He's scared of that vengeance, man. That's what, he, that's what he's scared of. He's scared of that vengeance. Ow! Yeah. Let's get this. Mm -mm -mm. Lamentations chapter 1, verse 21. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All mine enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. All you nations were glad when the, when the Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians went into captivity. Y'all was happy as hell. You know what I'm saying? The scripture said y'all was glad. No, they want nobody to comfort us, man. So, so when you read devils get put into captivity, it ain't going to be nobody to comfort y'all either, right? It says, they are glad that thou hast done it. They was glad when the, when the Lord uh, took his... Um, Took his hedge from off of us, yo. And we ain't had no protection, yo. The so-called white man was happy, man. And these other nations. Thou will bring the day that thou hast called. And they shall be like unto me. Soon come you devils gonna be just like we were, man. Double though. Double though, man. Okay? So you wanna know what the so-called white man is afraid of? He's afraid of the truth, man. Okay? He ain't afraid of your guns. He ain't afraid of your drugs. Your bats, your lips, your marching. He ain't afraid of none of that, man. He afraid of this truth. Okay? This truth is what Esau is scared of. Okay? The truth scares people, man. Okay? And the truth hurts, man. And Lord willing, brothers will edify, man. You want to know what the so-called white man is scared of? This truth. Giving all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims, man. No, risking your life to push this word. Double honors, man. Hey, once again, peace and blessings, man. To all you sincere Akims, man. Risking your life pushing this word week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bet, man. This truth is what scares the so-called white man, okay? This truth is what scares Esau. This is what Esau is afraid of. Not your guns. Not your marching. Not your rallies. Not your protests. Shalom.